Hey guys, what's up? I finally decide to process this uh, palladium test stripes uh, which Jeremiah sent me before some time and uh, probably I do that much faster but uh, Jeremiah sent me that I'm not have to be in a, hur in a hurry so sorry for wait dude and uh, okay we got couple of here a uh, couple of species we got uh, these we got this one we got this one but uh, it's uh, what is uh, connect to all these stripes is that all palladium all that uh, metal is inside the plastic not outside so I can't I actually I can't do that with uh, just straight in nit nitric uh, because uh, when I try to open that plastic to get that metal inside I never I never success I would, it's always plastic break and uh, everything stay inside and uh, every metal is covered with some glue and uh, okay you see that this is this yellow one is just uh, got yellow color because it's been here to acid in some bo box but uh, no gold here this is one of the box and you see that the accuracy of palladium so this is palladium test stripe and we go only for platin, uh, palladium and maybe some platinum. no gold here. So okay, I know who does this can't. I'll go to burn that test stripe in that can and just first we will put that on scale to see how many we got. And before that, Jeremiah sent me, uh, say me that uh, this is the new test stripe and some of them it's already be in the little plastic bags but uh, it, it is a new one but uh, always when you do the, that biohazard material you always use gloves always because uh, if some of them uh, maybe already use it uh, blood will stay on these spots and uh, you don't want to risk to take contact with uh, somebody else's blood. I, okay, I changed my mind because uh, that stripes can fit all in that can. It's be a full can and uh, it's be bad for burning. So I put that in that uh, stainless steel pot and the uh, amount of the stripe is uh, 300 gram exactly because I first uh, convert that scale to empty pot to the size of empty pot and uh, okay 300 in pot we got right now 300 gram of the stripe now we go to burn that Okay, after we burn that, the next step is be crush that small pieces. that in a beaker uh, we will crush more that uh, tiny dust and put that in a beaker 
in that beaker we got uh, 150 milliliter hydrochloric acid and uh, now we will add uh, 50 milliliter nitric acid to make some aquaregia and after that we're gonna put that on a slow heat but we will not put all at once nitric acid we will do that two times and put that okay now we're gonna put that on the heat okay now I want to show you a new way how to drop palladium and platinum uh, but this time we will drop palladium in this little bottle I got uh, some uh, tin bar and some tin uh, bricket. Uh, this is uh, tin, uh, 95 tin and 5% antimonia. And I got here 100 milliliter hydrochloric acid. Now we're gonna put that on heat. And we put that on low heat to the time uh, when uh, HCl stopped to dissolve uh, tin bar because it's already saturated. And with these, we're gonna drop that palladium. And these you can use or drop gold, platen, and the palladium. Uh, but uh, you must uh, know that if you wanna use Practically, this is the stenius solution. If you want to use a stenius solution for drop precious metal, you must be sure that you got uh, only one metal in your uh, solution because uh, that solution we will drop any precious metal together. He's not selective. So, this is the way I know that these test stripe contain only palladium. So. I want to use that to drop only palladium right now. Okay, put that on heat to prepare. And uh, this is just uh, one finger from the gloves. This uh, this will stop the, all that acid vapor, vapor vaporize, and uh, we got little air exit here, just in case the bottle don't broke for the pressure and here is our aquaregia solution on the low heat on two and uh, we'll leave that for some some while I already add all the 50 milliliter nitric acid and we will add we will leave that to finish the, the process and dissolve all palladium Okay, you see that solution already got nice yellow color. Be careful. Uh, before a couple of seconds, almost boiled to me, but uh, I just spread it with a little water and uh, it's back down. And now it's okay. Okay. After our job is finished, we start uh, filter solution. I use a uh, basket coffee filter and I use some charming plug in my funnel solution. Uh, you can see, but uh, it's already yellow. After all this, we only left these ashes. And uh, I washed that three times, but solution still little yellow. So I washed that once again. And uh, now we wait to all that filter, finish filter, and uh, we will put that on the beaker to heat to reduce size on one of the third and uh, to remove extra nitric by evaporation. Okay guys, our job is finished 
uh, after filtering, I back that solution in the beaker and uh, now look we got a very nice color yellow color and uh, now we will take that to back to the heat to evaporate uh, we got uh, almost 400 milliliter solution so I will try put that to less 200 milliliter then we put that on heat again and uh, in the meantime our solution stainless solution thin fluoride it's not finished yet you see still got a lot of reaction to the thin side you see that then stop the acid vaporize keep her inside that bottle okay let's put that on the heat and uh, we will wait until that solution reduce to the one of third side one of the three part size okay you see that after after 10 15 minutes of uh, vaporize that solution is a uh, turn color in the red color uh, you can see red uh, I see red but you on camera see black it's red trust me so not yellow anymore it's red so that's cool and what with these still we have reaction cool we have some palladium here excellent okay guys so see that this is evaporate 250 milliliter and here we got already done solution already saturated solution with the tin and now we will drop some palladium reaction it should be practically the same like uh, you drop gold palladium uh, should drop uh, like um, black powder not uh, red brick powder and uh, when uh, not uh, like a red brick powder uh, which you get when the drop with the chlorine gas and uh, not uh, like uh, yellow powder which you get when you drop with a DMG uh, should drop like a black powder same like gold okay now So you see, solution is clear. Now we will slowly add thin chloride solution. And you see, the solution start to be a darker and darker. Okay. okay, I add more thin chloride and you see how solution is black. I almost double size with the thin chloride and uh, we got some little white stuff inside but uh, solution is pretty dark 
now we're gonna leave that to settle down to the morning and see what slug we got in there okay good morning guys after I uh, dropped that palladium I uh, I put him in a jar because uh, I'm pretty low with the beaker right now and uh, last month I broke two beaker and uh, I left with only one beaker I need to go to the <sighs> to shopping and see that that black gray that black gray slug it's much better here this is our palladium come on folks so now Now we got to filter that and uh, melt to see how much palladium we got. Okay, after filtration, this is our palladium powder. Uh, it's black because we dropped that with a tin chloride uh, with, a, with some stainless chloride, if you want to call it that. So, uh, this is a metallic shape. So, this stuff can go straight to melt. And uh, after we melt this, we will know correct how much plating we got from that test strike. Hey guys, uh, so after filtration, we burn our filter with the uh, that uh, black palladium uh, and uh, we burn that with the oxygen acetylene torch and this is what we got this is our palladium from our test stripe but uh, I think it's not pure palladium because uh, uh, in this uh, this uh, kind of way of precipitation with uh, tin chloride is uh, uh, that will drop any metal uh, any metal under the reaction scale uh, so this bead can contain also uh, some silver uh, some platinum and uh, I don't know maybe some lead but uh, I think I think it's a uh, very close to high purity. So let's see how much we got. So from these 300 gram of test stripe, we got. 2.4 gram palladium so I think I already said I think that that is not pure palladium because uh, this is not not tin chloride not selective it will drop anything from the solution uh, so but it's pretty close pretty close to fine so what I'm gonna do with these uh, I will send that to Jeremiah 
but uh, not in that shape. I will cast in the next video I will cast one medallion from that and uh, I will build for Jeremiah pretty good necklace so he can sell that if he is want but uh, maybe he will save that and wear that so okay that will be my next video I will cast from that one uh, coin and uh, make medallion for the necklace who knows maybe I will put some other metal in it I will see that but I think I will make that just from that I will make that just from this 2.4 bead and uh, I will send that to Jeremiah and some little gold from the side from his package uh, remember when Jeremiah sent me that and tell me that I don't have to be in a hurry and uh, that he will love to get something from that package so I will send I will send him soon that palladium and some little gold okay guys so see you around to the next video and uh, big hello for you Jeremiah Bye guys.